Hey YouTube, this is X78278 with a tutorial on how to change your LED notification light to any colour you want. So it's one, using one quick app called Advanced OS and LED. So you can find it in App World. Let me just type it up. There it is. Don't know if you can see it, but there it is Advanced OS and LED. So it's a pretty cool app because it gives you full customization and control of your LED and some parts of your OS. So I already have the app downloaded. You can get the free version. It lets you do everything still. So once you've got the app, you're gonna click on LED multicolors. Multicolors one to five. Say you have multicolor five. You choose how many colors you want in your um <coughs> in your effect. Now they're all red, but you can change one to more, and you can choose any color you want, like so, or you can choose one from the ones that they already have, green, and then you choose how fast each one is, so there's 0 0.5 seconds blink, and there's mix. Blink goes on and off, mix just goes to the next color straight away, so let me just give you an example, like this, and it keeps repeating itself over and over again. Once you've done that, you go into itself. You go into the part where it says LED and ringtones, and then you click on email accounts, add your email, and change the color to any color you want. So, the most thing that I've changed is oh, yeah, and I forgot to say, you can also put different individual contacts and add their LED lights. Customize more apps is also a good feature because. Let's just go to a custom app which I haven't already customized. You click set, click OK, and then go to start LED listen. What this does is wait for the next notification and then it registers it onto your phone so you can customize it as well if it isn't already included into the feature. And there's night LED which turns this off to save your battery. Auto activate time, you can choose when to activate it. I'll keep it off. And then you have pop ups which is another cool feature. So let's say. I put 10 seconds like so and then let me just go on to EBM um, me send myself a message so hi and I'll quickly turn this off you should get this that says reply show app pop up stop app pop ups click reply and then I don't know what the problem is yeah and it randomly types in my pin, I don't know why, but yeah. So I like to keep this off because sometimes it can get a bit too irritating. If you already have um, this on, the LED notifications, then it shouldn't be a big problem. And then you should always keep chat history on in the options area, so here. You have to keep it on if you want to um, add custom ones for different contacts you also get other features like if you click on the settings app the device restart adds a fifth one to here you click on it and it's a restart to your phone quick password lock also once you've turned it on when you click this which is meant to sleep it go straight to here let me just type in my password done go back here so I'll turn that off <coughs> Where is it? Quick password lock. Off. And then you have battery notifications, flashlight. Screenshot is pretty cool. It's basically a good version of Screen Munch. 